In the final hours before a ban takes effect that will stop all sale of all flavored vaping related products all across Oregon. And it comes after hundreds of people had reported illnesses and deaths all throughout the country. And remember, two of those deaths happened here in Oregon. Valina Jones, live in downtown Portland, talked to customers and a vape shop owner ahead of tomorrow's ban. What did they have to tell you, Valina? Well, you know, Jennifer, a lot of vape shops all throughout our area had major discounts both today and throughout the weekend, including this one right here. They're trying to sell as much product as they can before that ban takes place tomorrow. And I spoke to both customers and an owner, and they tell me it's just not enough. This is definitely like my busiest weekend I've ever been over. Come Tuesday, vape shops like Rose City Vapors in Northeast Portland won't be able to ask these questions. So fruity flavors, desserty flavors. Okay. Well, business has picked up in the final hours. 80% of Marcus Nettles' sales are flavored vaping products. It's so bittersweet because it's like, it's nice to have sales, but then to realize starting tomorrow, whatever my sales are through the month might just like completely, or they're going to completely fall off. Some customers are even traveling from our neighbors to the north who already have a ban in place. Are you from Washington also? Yeah. <laughs> That's the theme today. 1,300 injuries and 26 deaths, according to the Center for Disease Control, are connected to e-cigarettes or vaping. So far, they're not sure why people are getting sick. Every minute, hundreds of people die from tobacco use. And there's no government outrage, and they're not banning cigarettes, and they're not even banning flavored tobacco. In downtown Portland, customers are stocking up while they can. Getting as much as I can afford, <laughs> that's what I've been trying to do. I've been vaping for five years. It hasn't had any medical impacts or anything. I've never had any issues. But for those who use vaping to stop smoking cigarettes after 15 years like Molly Burke. The whole ban is uh, kind of blindly shutting out people like me who know what it's like to, you know, struggle with cigarette addiction. She stocked up on 10 bottles. Providing flavors that don't taste like the thing we just got over, you know, makes it a lot easier. But fears what happens if she runs out before the ban is lifted. Going back to cigarettes, if I can't quit nicotine altogether. Now, Nettles plans to meet with the State Vapor Trade Association to try to find a way to fight back against this ban with other shop owners as well. That ban is set to expire next April. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Felina Jones, Coin 6 News.